Sawete de Schipoli, we are getting ready to begin our lesson on the perfect system. In this part of the lesson, and for all parts of the lesson that follow, it will be a really good idea for you to have your active voice verb inflection chart in front of you. If you do not have that now, please stop the video and get it out of your notes, or you can print a copy. It is attached to this lesson. When you are looking at the chart, you want to notice that it can be divided into two uh, systems. Notice that we have the present system, which we have already learned about in first year Latin with the present tense, the imperfect tense, and the future tense. And then here, starting with this gray line across the middle of the chart, we have the perfect system which is comprised of the perfect, the pluperfect, and the future perfect tense. Make sure you know which tenses belong to which system. You'll notice at the bottom of the chart these two boxes, which talk about the procedure for writing any verb or any regular verb in Latin in the present system or in the perfect system. We're going to take a specific look at the similarities and differences between the tenses of the present system and the perfect system. You keep your chart in front of you, but I'm going to move ahead to a different screen to point out um, the procedures and what makes them the same or what makes them different. When we are working with the present system, every action that the verb is expressing is taking place or considered incomplete. When we are working with the perfect system, every action is an action that has been completed. That's the meaning of perfect. Perfect is from the Latin verb perficio, which means completed. In the present system, every verb is built on the base of the second principal part. But in the perfect system, every verb is built on the base of the third principal part. So that's a pretty big difference. In the present system, after we've gotten the base of the second principal part, we need to add a connecting vowel to the base. In the perfect system, there are no connecting vowels. It's also important to note when we're working in the present system that these connecting vowels are attached to what conjugation the verb belongs to. In the perfect system, knowing the conjugation of the verb will not be important. Knowing the third principal part of the verb will be important. In the present system, irregular verbs do not adhere to this system of conjugating. They, the verb to be, for example, has specific verb forms for the present, the imperfect, and the future tense of to be that you just need to know and understand. There is no procedure. But in the perfect system, when we are working with the irregular verbs to be and to be able, we're not going to deal with them any differently than we deal with any other verb in Latin. Are there similarities between the tenses? Not really. The two systems function in a completely different way. That's very important to pay attention to. This ends the first part of the lesson. I'm going to ask you a few questions about the things that we just went over to make sure you're comprehending before we move on. 